Week. The Valley community has seen several tragic domestic violence cases, including a murder suicide in Gilbert. So this morning, Kylie is joining us live with a closer look at resources that are available. Um, unfortunately, with these situations, a lot of folks just don't know where to go. And that's the point of our story this morning is to provide people out there with an outlet, with some numbers, with some places that you can look into so that if you are in a situation, if you are trying to leave, you've got the resources and you feel empowered. The stats are really eye opening. One in four women will experience domestic violence at some point in their lives, along with one and seven men. The state's largest domestic violence shelter says that this is a pervasive problem in our community that likely impacts someone you know. And even though several stories over the past week has really brought the issue to light, Kate Thone with New Life Center says the need really is always there. The center, they have a 104 bed emergency shelter in the West Valley. And right now this shelter here, it is full. It is on a wait list and it's something that's been the case since they opened. The agency also has an entire center dedicated to helping survivors leave violent relationships. This is a look at the Sunshine Healing Services. It is here in Phoenix. We talked to Thode about the services offered here and how this center is helping people find a sense of safety and community after going through something really rough. An entire community based um, center that really specializes in all of the support services other than emergency shelter. A lot of people find themselves in a bad relationship. They can leave and find safety, safe housing, but they don't know how to um, go through and use the court system for help. They don't know the safety planning or tricks and tools to use um, to provide that safe distance from their abuser. We can do that. So right now we do have an article up on our, up on our website, azfamily.com, dedicated to providing you with resources available to help domestic violence survivors. Many organizations are out there and we have kind of listed them. So if you live in Phoenix, if you live in the West Valley, if you live in uh, the East Valley, we've got them kind of broken up by regions. We also have a number to the Maricopa County Domestic Violence Hotline here, as well as the National Hotline as well. Bottom line, uh, no matter what you're going through, there is help out there. You can get connected to resources resources immediately and you can hopefully find the tools and tricks and get everything you need so that you can leave a violent situation if you're in that right now. Colton. Such an important